Yeah, it looks like I've actually done something now. I'm up for a bit and then... What happened, Alex? What happened? I don't know. No heavier than five, please. Good Friday morning. Friday the 17th of May. Which for us is Peter K Day, finally. After 18 months of waiting. If you go back to one of our videos, uh, the big extension, we were talking about booking our Peter K tickets back in... November 2020... Two? Yeah, two. 2022. So yeah, going there this afternoon for the 8 o'clock show. This is where we got up to a week and a bit ago with Roger and Dylan. Obviously we didn't get a lot done because it's like, a, it's like a more, more about the video than the brickwork on that day. It was, just, it was just handy having this to work on. So, um, I was going to get the mix in. We got home early last night. We had a nice easy lintel job, didn't we? Yeah. So we got home early, so we jumped out here and got all this set up. Got the hop-ups out. The uh, hop-ups Alex bought me about 18 months ago, which I don't like using because they're nice and clean. And um, just got everything elevated. So we've got a nice easy go at it today. Do you know where the uh, starter pack stuff is, Al? Er, uh, no. Oh. I'll need to take the top off first before the gallows brackets. Just need to get them things popped off. So yeah, we're all set, ready to go. It's not even 8 o'clock yet. Three minutes to eight. It didn't take as long to get to work. So yeah, we're all set up. Um, we've got to decide to get this out of the way now, before we start. And then, while well, I'll get the mix in, I'm going to get the trestles and the profiles up. There's the new bricks and there's the old bricks. And there's a couple of mil difference in the sizes, which has been a pity. Anyway, and the um, the mortar's drying quite a pale grey, which is exactly what we wanted to match the house. Oh yeah, um, most of the bricks are loaded out from there. We've got loads of bricks left over. Just going to put a retaining wall in here when we do the drive. A little tiny retainer. So let's get this thing down and get it out of the way. The only one. I'm passing the rattler. Thank you. Right, we need to do the ones underneath now. I don't want it still fixed underneath. Little, uh, Are they ordinary screws? No, little star bits. No underneath. Oh, uh, yeah, regular screws. So, two regulars. And we need to find the top of this cover. bits of timber in it. Oh yeah, I'll give it a good clean. But look at the muck inside it because it's been stored. But yeah, just a uh, instant canopy fiberglass. Wow, that looks weird now in front of the house. Right, let's get the gallows brackets down.
Nice new toy. That wasn't a bad guess. <clears throat> Not just any toy, it's a cross line laser. So we now can do square squaring with it. Got a look see. It Very spins nice. right around, which the other one doesn't. Yeah. That means we can mark our profiles now. And just while you're doing that, <coughs> let me show you this too. But he comes with charger, proper receiver. Fancy tripod, which we'll show you at a later time, and then the uh, laser reader, whatever the fancy name is for it. And a pack out box. I'll tell you what, the house needs 10 minutes at 11. That doesn't, doesn't surprise me at all. We're just 5 mil down from the top of that. Yeah. 10 mil from the bed. Full bed there. Yeah. It needs to come down the bed, doesn't it? Not surprised in the slightest. That's the only thing with this, the magnets are a bit too good, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Which is what you want, it's just uh, if you set it down, you're gonna... Hey, that's not bad. Nice. Bang on lintel that. Now we just... Oh, no, it is level, actually. Now we just need um, just need a piece of tape now for that profile. Okay. 1.430. 1425 gauge, so we've got to pick 5 mil at that end. 5 mil. So there you go, that's our gauge. The there. You can see it just shine on the lintel there, or just slightly below the lintel. Yeah, we can leave it there. So we get back to the van, we'll just use the laser for now. Yeah. Let's get some brakes laid, shall we? Loving that thing. 4 amp hour battery as well, it runs all day. There's your different settings. There you go, there's your square. I think there's one here as well. Square there, two. You've got all those with it. There's all your controls here. And there's your one off. Cool. window is set out. The window's not central because we're having storage at that end, coats, shoes etc. So we're having it more middle of the open bit of the porch. And it's a 900 window. There you go. It's that window. <coughs> 900 wide, 1050 deep with the top opener. So you can leave the um, you can leave the window on, we call it the night latch where you open it and shut it again so it's open but yeah. locked. Obviously with shoes and stuff in there. So if anyone wants to complain, this is our freaking porch. <laughs> so the customer, we want it this way. Customer's always right, so we're right. Yeah, so I'm just glad to see the back of these horrible yellow bricks. The seconds, and they're not just seconds for the colour, the seconds for the sizes. They're just massive. So the bond isn't perfect, but the bond isn't perfect on the house, so I'm not going to worry about it. So I'm, I'm happy with that. And there's a bit of Roger's legacy there. He did some of that wall there and a bit on the front. So that is um, that is the end of the yellows. And good riddance to them. The, the reds are a lot easier to work with. A lot nicer brick. And I think they look nicer as well. So, um, yeah, there's the window set out now. So it's soldiers. Are you sure you want to... That is almost crap. Kind of like that. Mm. Put it the other way. What? Put it the other way then. Yeah, I suppose in this instance. You're right. 
That's Alex's angry face. It's the, I've just wasted my time taking a brick out when I didn't need two face. You know what I mean about the bond though, don't you? What about the bond? Having the three quarter into the brickwork. But yeah, but look at that. Yeah, it is, it's, it's ugly that. So we're going with Alex's better drink. Oh look, this is a new hammer. Don't change the subject. I've got a feeling the other one's going to turn up in that shit over the garage when we tidied up, but yeah. How much is that? Uh, 20... I can't remember. About 20 quid or under. For a 20 ounce CK brick hammer. It was 34 quid in Berry, so I swear with that one. I've had CK all my life and I don't plan on changing. Them perps, right? Like half of them perps. It's a tip. No, forget that. Just tighten them up. As tight as you can. And it makes that piece as big as possible then. Go on, a bit more. I think it's gone off too much to push it. Yeah, it's just going to push this around now. Is it? No. What? Well, you're wrong. Tell it to YouTube. Mum, we'll make you a pin comment. What? We'll make you a pin comment if you carry on. <laughs> and my piece is probably wrong. Thanks, Pops. Don't worry about it, it's a nice bigger piece now. It's better. Yep. Bigger the better. For the sake of cutting one extra brick. Where's my brick hammer that you were showing off now? There you go. Just cut the, cut the dirty end off. That's one of them. Well, we're, we're done now. We won't be using these. These are the old ones, we're not using these for soldiers. Yeah, these are leftovers on site, the best. because these these old ones are a lot nicer with the round holes better brick don't know what clay these brick are made out of but it's crap clay it's crap and it's thirsty yeah. anything else you want to change before I put this final brick in? what are you reaching both ends for? don't worry about it it's going to have a soldier against it but fill that hole up gob it right up Perfect. What's your thumb when you're doing that? Fucking hell! We're not, we're, not, we're not in the bloody Premier League or whatever, I don't need commentate on everything I do. Go on. See the attitude of this one. See what see, see, see where the attitude sprawls from. I can't get the staff. I need the tire wire as well. Right, we need to get this side running as well. So, how much mortar's left? Uh, quite a bit. Well, why don't we use this mix-up before we have a break then? Can do. Okay. Don't be snitching to mum either. About what? Your attitude? Yeah. I'll just show the video. Water Susan Davy has said she's truly sorry for the outbreak of a diarrhea type illness in South Devon. 22 cases of cryptosporidium have been confirmed in the Brixton area. Residents are being advised to boil their tap water. Paul Hunter, who's a professor in medicine at the University of East Anglia, says it's an unpleasant disease. The problem with it is it goes on for a very long time, compared to most other infections. Typically, people will be sick for about two to four weeks. God. Just resolve the pay dispute in England, but also tackle issues around working conditions. 
Paul McCartney has become the first UK musician to become a billionaire, according to the Sunday Times Rich List. Sir Paul, who's 81, is said to have boosted his wealth by £50 million pounds in the past year. That's the BBC News. It's Taylor Swift got to a billion before he... This is Vernon Kay. So we've made it onto the red course and we've, um, we've had a... I have to put my hand We're going to labour today. Yeah. First thing she said was I want some wages. I hurt my fingers. Oh, no, oh dear. Careful. No, I'm not full. I have to stay in this. Today. I think she's bucket gauging for us. Yeah. Oh, very nice. So there we go. Looks like <laughs> now that um, now we're on the red, it looks like we're making progress now. So we'll throw you back on time lapse for a bit, and then. I don't know. I, I hopefully don't need an umbrella. Mm. I'll stick you on time lapse while we uh, get some more reds in. I'm gonna use this up and have a quick break, so we will catch you in a bit. His mum were having a fight. Mix is on. We've had a quick brew. Um, our foreman's gone in now. She'll probably be back in a bit. Windows set out. That's our our buff soldiers across there now. And then it's away. Reds. Red, red, reds. Just need to sponge over that. And when you in every bloody course you've got to make sure you drag their perch back in to the, to the previous ones whereas you get bunny ears I think else calls them Ooh. better switch off now human league on the radio Oh, I can safely say that's the best soldier course on this estate.
Oh, can I eat mine outside? And that is more or less scaffold height and what we did was a uh, job and knocked with the mortar that's why there's a brick and a three half and a three quarter missing there a nice chilled half day yes one mix plodding along yeah it looks like we've actually done something now and obviously we're gonna we'll do a, we'll, we'll set up scaffold just to make it easier on ourselves but uh, yeah, that's really all I have to say. It's at the end of this uh, video then, Dad. Yeah, I'll tell you later. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching. That's very zoomed in, Jesus. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell so you always know when we upload. It's a massive help. And we greatly appreciate all the support. This has been Brickling with Steve and Alex. Daisy. And Daisy, yes, can't forget that. With our very nice transition to red and we'll see you in the next one.